Well, hello there again, everybody. Boyd here with you, and uh, we're glad to be back. We've had uh, a couple weeks go by since our little Batmobile video that we put out. I've got more of the, a couple more of those shipments that have come in, so we're going to get back to the bench working on that. And uh, later in the in the day here, in the next couple days, you guys are going to see a lot of uh, videos coming out on the Trekworks channel. I've been shooting a lot of content, and um, we're back to work at the bench, guys. I want to thank you all for uh, constantly checking in on me and checking in on my well-being, given my uh, current medical condition here, but I'm doing really well. The only thing that I'm kind of dealing with is my voice kind of coming and going, depending on where I'm at in my treatments, but you guys kind of understand that, and... Uh, We'll just do the best we can. Otherwise, I'm feeling great. Um, uh, so you can look forward to a lot of content coming in the next, uh, later today and uh, the rest of the week and over the weekend. We're back to the bench and we're going to show you some updates, uh, some new projects we're going to start and um, some other cool stuff. So uh, today we're here in the model display room because, um, again, we had our big fundraiser that worked out really well. But uh, that money's already been uh, used up, you guys, used on... Uh, my existing medical bills, and um, but we're in good shape for this year. Um, but I need to raise a little bit of money. I'm not doing any commission work anymore, so um, we're selling some more models. I'm calling this um, Wave 2. A lot of you guys have uh, continued to contact me asking about which models are left. As you can see, the um, display room has been uh, pared down quite a bit. Uh, we sold quite a few of the models, and they, they've all went to good homes. We've had people come and pick them up, and a lot of them have been shipped out, and uh, it was really great meeting the people. We got some more people coming in, um, so we're not going to cover any of the models that are sold. I'm just going to show you today uh, the models that I have currently for sale. So uh, anything you see in the background or anything like that, it's not really for sale at the moment. I'll, I'm going to go through for a final uh, kind of a wave three once we kind of clear everything out. I've got some more stuff in storage. Um, some smaller models and things like that that you might be interested in. And we'll uh, cross that bridge when we come to it. But for today, I just wanted to show you what we still have. And uh, uh, if you're interested in any of these models, you can contact me at info at trekworks.net, just like usual. And I'll, I'll give you a price, and you're uh, definitely open to giving me a counter offer. And we'll uh, kind of go from there. <clears throat> Let's start off on the right here. We have this large-scale Mobius Jupiter II. I have decided to sell this one. Now, I built this with all the bells and whistles. It has the uh, uh, Mobius lighting kit in it with the adjustable speed fusion control there and a fully detailed interior using both the paragraphics and warm plastic uh, detail kits. Those are the finest kits you can buy for this particular model. And I left it uh, open so you can get in there and see all the detail. We got all the crew figures in their cooler tubes. The full navigation set up in the front. I added these figures of a Major West and uh, Professor Robinson at the flight controls. Something you don't see on a lot of these builds. So it's a one-of-a-kind, really nice build uh, with, again, all the bells and whistles. And um, you are more than welcome to uh, contact me. I'll, as you can see, we got to work with this a little bit to get this on the lid. Uh, fits on there a little loose, but it's the uh, only thing you can do with the, uh, if you want to have it removable like that, the pegs, if you leave the pegs on there, they're too hard to get loose, but I'll explain all that if you're interested in it. And uh, then we have this uh, beautiful Halcyon models, very rare kit these days, of the uh, USCS Nostromo from the movie Alien, landed on planet LV-426, and you guys have you can go back on my uh, channel and ch check out the build series I did on this. If you're interested, it's a very nice model with full lighting, sound effects, this diorama it's built on. We have this Mobius, beautiful reimagined Battlestar Galactic with full Aztec detail. I'll try to get you close so you can see that. On a nice polished oak base with the uh, Battlestar Galactica logo. We have the 1350 scale NX-01. Again, it's got a beautiful paint job on it with all the full Azteking. Uh, I believe it's a Monsters in Motion lighting kit. Get you a nice front view of this with the uh, deflector dish and the uh, little hood scoop there on the top with the fiber optic detail in that. Very, very nice model. 
The reason I still have it is that I would prefer that somebody come and pick it up. Uh, I can ship it, but it will be difficult. And I'll have to hire a professional packer to do that. So if you're interested, please consider that. Um, uh, but, you know, it's a really beautiful model. And uh, I know there's a lot of NX-01 fans out there. Um, many of you have asked about the uh, Discovery Enterprise here. It's not for sale. I've already sold that to a client. I'm just working on finishing it up. Now, I do have these really cool Diamond Select or Art Asylum models. Uh, some of you guys out there collect these. This is the uh, Wrath of Khan version. And as you know, the uh, stands break on these quite often. And uh, so I've, got, I've had these, I ordered these uh, beautiful acrylic replacement stands. You can see the custom engraving on those. I've got this one and I've got the uh, Self-Destruct Enterprise from Star Trek III. This one is actually pretty rare. Uh, if you're interested in one of these with the stand, you can again contact me on that. We'll work something out. I have a couple more down here that don't have the stands, unfortunately. The HD the HD version, original Enterprise, and I believe this is the uh, yeah the Enterprise A. And they're both all of these are in mint condition and they fully function with all lights and sound effects. So um, let's see. Swinging around here, we have a. Uh, 1350 scale Romulan Bird of Prey that I built. Uh, I don't even have the build on my channel. I built this uh, even before I started my YouTube channel. I had it in storage for a long time. You can see it's on this nice uh, base. It's another polished oak base. It has just basic lighting functions. Now, when I was doing this model, I was experimenting and learning about LED lighting. And uh, I didn't put any you know control board effects, but it does have a simulated firing effect in the front here and it has a really cool <clears throat> engine sequence there going on but it has a really nice paint job on it with all the different shades of green and some weathering and all that uh, and it's the 1350 scale kit and again if you're interested in that you can contact me and we'll work out something on that then we have the uh, into darkness enterprise by Ravel <clears throat> this was a build that I did on my channel Many of you over the years have asked me if I would sell this, and I kind of held off on it, but it's for sale. Um, it's got a beautiful, let me see if I can get the right light on it, full Aztec paint job using the orbital dry dock mass and the iridescent, iridescent colors. It's got the tenant controls lighting kit with the double flash effect and the uh, variable speed on the uh, warp engines there. I'll uh, hit the button and... Uh, you can speed those up as you can see. There's three speeds basically. And it's a you know really nice, well put together model. So if you're interested in that one, again we have this one available. All these smaller models, I'm pretty confident could be shipped without any problem. Um, so that's not a big deal at all. Uh, just trying to think if there's anything else here I'm missing that I could show you at the moment. I still have the uh, Starsky and Hutch Torino and A-Team Van Combo. I'd like to try to sell those together if I can. So if you like those, just uh, email me with a uh, request and I'll give you a price. And um, so that's about it for now, you guys. Uh, I've got some more in storage, like I said, but uh, these are all really nice models. And um, go ahead and... Um, uh, Email me at info at trekworks.net if you would uh, like to make an offer or, you know, in inquire about this. And uh, we've had really good results with shipping these and everything's worked out really, really well. All right, well, let's head out to the shop real quick, you guys. And we're going to um, show you a little bit about what we've been doing out there and uh, talk about what's coming up here on the channel. Be right back with that. All right, you guys. So here we are in the shop and I thought I would uh, start off and uh, show you that we've done some major, well, major, you know, pretty pretty big changes here to the shop since the last time you saw it. I've completely reworked my shelving here, all new uh, model kits that we've got on display here for upcoming builds here on the channel in the next year or so. Uh, kind of revamped everything, did a complete uh, pressure wash and scrub down of the whole entire shop, long overdue, and it's just like being in a brand new facility, and I'm really excited to... Uh, kick off this sort of <clears throat> new era in the Trekworks adventure. Um, and I'm really, you know, feeling good about going forward here, feeling good 
health-wise and excited to get back on the bench. Got some other things to talk about about that here at the uh, towards the end of the video, but a couple projects you can expect to see really soon on the channel here. We've got this round two uh, Polar Lights Galileo kit complete with interior. I'm starting that build right now. I'm going to offer it actually for sale when it's finished. Uh, we're going to have a hopefully a nice display base to put this on, but this will be, you know, have a little bit of lighting in it. And um, we're going to go ahead and put the crew figures in there. It's going to be a really cool little build. And then we've got um, a bunch of stuff over here on the shelf now. Uh, we're going to be following the Galileo up with the new studio scale TIE Fighter from uh, AMT. I'm really looking forward to doing this one. Uh, we may build another Katinga since I sold mine. We've got these Battlestar Galactica kits. We've got the uh, Battlestar itself, the Cylon Raider, and I've got the Viper that I actually started, and we're going to go ahead and finish that one up. This beautiful SR-71 kit for you airplane fans out there. A gorgeous Tamiya 1350 scale Battleship Yamato kit that I'm going to be starting here probably late spring, mid-summer. And a whole bunch of car kits. Some Space 1999. Kind of a neat little diorama. We're going to combine some of the elements with this with that uh, actual moon base kit that I, you know, built and lighted. Uh, we're going to put a really cool display together for that. And some really neat little models here. I want to say a shout out to my friend Chuck Brooks who sent me one of my Grail kits. This is a car I actually had um, just prior before I moved down to San Antonio. This is a 1981 uh, Turbo Trans M NASCAR edition. Really awesome kit and super hard to find. You can see it's an odd scale, 1 one twentieth. But Chuck found me a mint condition still in the plastic kit, so I definitely promised him that I would do a nice buildup of that here on the channel. Some other really cool kits that we've collected here. This Daytona um, 69 Dodge Daytona is one that I definitely want to build. This duster is a really nice kit. Of course, we did the uh, the Green Hornet, but I bought another kit because just it was just such a nice kit to work on. We've got the uh, 1 1,000 scale Enterprise refit. A couple of you have requested to see that built up here on the channel. We've also got the Reliant that goes with it, so we'll probably work on those. So some really cool stuff coming. Possibly another Jupiter II if I sell mine. You can see I've got the lighting kit for that already from Mobius. And some other really cool stuff. We've got a couple of garage kits. One that's I'm really excited to share with you guys. I'll be uh, sharing that with you really soon. We're working on some parts upgrade for it, but it's a 1350 scale. Basically hybrid between the uh, movie series Miranda class, which is the Reliant, and the Toss era version. A couple of you guys have uh, seen build-ups like that at Wonderfest, and we've got a kit similar to that. But I really like the design on it. We're going to do a nice custom build on that. It's a 3D printed kit, very high quality. So we'll be showing you that one really soon. So some really exciting stuff coming, guys. And I hope you'll uh, tune in and check it all out. Again, we're going to start on the uh, Galileo really soon, uh, probably over the weekend here. And uh, that'll be really exciting. Now you can see I've got a brand new computer that I just got up and running. I want to make a special announcement here. Um, we're actually going to bring back the live on the bench trek work show, um, formerly the model shop guys. It'll be coming along um, probably uh, mid summer, and we're going to schedule it for Thursday nights at nine o'clock p.m. It'll be a one hour show. Half hour of it will be me on the bench doing some work and sharing modeling tips, new kits, kit reviews, you know, the usual. And then the last half hour will be a Q&A session where viewers will be able to ask questions about, you know, modeling or, uh, you know, techniques that I'm using or things like that. They'll be able to ask each other questions in the uh, forum, but we're going to keep it uh, strictly about modeling, you guys. Um, there's uh, been a lot of requests coming to me over time about bringing that show back, and uh, I'm getting set up to do it right. Like I said, uh, part of the reason I stopped doing it was I didn't feel like my cameras were up to par and um, the show got kind of off track a little bit as far as the discussion was going, uh, you know, and talking about pop culture and personal lives and things like that. I want to just give everybody a heads up. This show is going to be strictly 
about scale modeling and uh, you know what's going on with that. Uh, people can ask questions about that, and uh, we're going to keep on that subject. I'll have everything laid out, make an announcement each week um, as far as uh, what the subject matter is going to be, and it should be a lot of fun. And I'm going to try to keep it interesting and uh, again strictly to one hour. Uh, we can't. Uh, I, I I just don't have the time to do more than that, and it'll be once a week, and uh, it'll probably have a little off-season time. Uh, I'll probably run through most of the summer into the fall, and then maybe over the winter we'll take a little break, and then we'll bring it back, if you guys are enjoying it and want it to come back. So we'll just kind of see how it goes, but uh, a lot of people I've notified about it coming back are pretty excited about it, so we'll give it a go, you guys. I feel like I can do it, and I can do a good job, so... It was kind of time to go back to it. I always enjoyed that before. So hope you'll uh, look forward to that. And um, we're going to have some guests. If you're out there, a YouTube creator, uh, and you have modeling subjects you want to cover, go ahead and email me at info at trekworks.net. We'll set it up because I plan on having some guests with their own little video, video segments on everything from model building to 3D printing to painting to uh, anything related to scale model building. So um, you're more than welcome. I'll feature your video on the uh, show, and we'll just kind of go from there. All right, you guys, well, that's a wrap for this uh, video. Again, I'll be back probably uh, over the weekend, and we're going to get started on the Galileo here and, uh, you know, get back to some regular uh, up-to-the-bench, you know, model bench building. And then over here, you can see I have the uh, fan home kits, you guys. I've got a lot of catching up to do. I, uh, more updates just came in on the Batmobile kit. I've got the DeLorean here, the time machine. The Millennium Falcon, the GT40, that I've uh, you know got almost the pieces in place here to completely finish that one. So you'll be seeing regular updates on that coming now. And I hope you'll uh, resume where we were. And I'm glad some of you decided to buy these kits and build along with us. Should be a lot of fun. Again, if you're interested in any of the models that we showed you that are for sale, contact me at Info at Trek Works and we'll uh, get it all worked out. Until we see you next time, everybody, take care. And happy modeling, everyone.